It's 815 this morning. If you're planning to get a pedicure for an upcoming trip or, or just for fun, it's important to make sure that you do your homework before you go. Otherwise, you could risk getting an injury or an infection. I always tell my patients that should they choose to do that, make sure that they inspect the location that they want to have their pedicure at. They want to make sure that their instruments are being sterilized. And it's okay to go in and say to the proprietor and say, I'm here to potentially schedule an appointment. How do you manage your instruments? Dr. Joy Rowland is a podiatrist, by the way, with Cleveland Clinic. She says along with the tools used on your feet, foot baths or bowls need to be cleaned and disinfected after each client as well. During the pedicure, you should make sure your nails are not cut too short to prevent ingrown toenails. It's also best to avoid those cheese grater like tools to remove calluses because they can potentially cut your skin. Dr. Rowland says that you can get skin and nail infections if your foot is cut or or pedicure tools are not cleaned properly. She also says that there are some telltale signs that something may be wrong after your pedicure. If you've had a recent pedicure and you start noticing any redness or swelling around the toenail unit anywhere along the side or along the bottom or even pain at the very end of the toe, it's time to get in to see a podiatrist right away. If you also notice that maybe the toenail itself starts to lift up, then I would get into a podiatrist. And Dr. Rowland says that toenails that develop a white or yellow discoloration may be a sign you have an infection as well.